Today we're working on my 99 Dodge Ram 1500 52 four wheel drive. Uh, my dilemma is the seat belts are locked. So is this one. Uh, I'm going to show you all how to fix it by rewiring it. Uh, you're going to want to take your middle seat out. And this one's not like y'all's. It has a speaker built into it. So I don't have that plate that sits here. So this was a little harder for me to find. But just look at it. You'll figure out where it is. Uh, and it has this plug coming off of it. So what we're going to do today is you're going to find the wires that come off your seats. The passenger side has two wires on it. The driver's side has three. So what you want to do is you want to cut it, expose the wires. You got to, and then you want to go on here and find the solid blue wire. And then if you look closely, I made a mistake and I cut the uh, black and green. I mean the green and black. When well, I was supposed to cut the black and green, as you can see, is right next to the pink one. So this is the one you're looking for. Um, when I first did this, it was three o'clock in the morning. Okay. So what you want to do is this one. That's an orange and red. You want to hook it to the blue. I'm working on the passenger seat, and then the other one. Is this the green and black hooks to the green and black? Simple. Now, your seat belts are only unlocked with the key turned because basically the blue one is a remote wire, kind of like if you install a stereo. Okay, so right now to show you that it worked, the seat belt is locked. Now, if I turn the key. Make sure no wires are touching anything. I shorted out my battery last time. And instantly, this it'll unlock. But if I turn the key back off, it'll lock again. Oh, no, my key's still on. There you go. It'll lock again. So, let me run you through the, the driver's side. That The orange and gray wire hooks up to the blue. The green and black wire hooks up to the green and black wire, and then this green and red wire disregard it. So those wires right there, and then just wire that up, and you're good to go. But here's my dilemma: I last night when I did this, is it would not unlock my driver's seat because in here it got all tangled, and the solar node was getting locked up with it. So the way I fix that is there's a there's a I don't know if you can see in there but there's a screw there there's a screw here and there's another one and there's one in the back take it off and then right here uh, right under here there is a let me look uh, 11 16th bolt for my vehicle uh, take it off raise this all the way up to here and just keep tugging, tugging, tugging. Uh, with the key on after you already have it wired, and it may unlock, it may not. I can't assure you of that. If it doesn't unlock, it means your solenoid is bad. Uh, and if your solenoid is bad, you're basically going to have to take all that off, get in there, and basically break the solenoid out so the seatbelt unlocks. Well, right now... I'm going to, because that got locked up and that one wasn't going to do it, I have a theory that this being locked up, like getting tangled like that, affected that one. So I'm going to wire everything back up to this, just because I got time to see if it works. And if it does, it does. If it doesn't, hey, I know how to fix them. I hope this video helps you with fixing your problem, but let me run through it again. You want the black and green, not the green and black. Black and green. And then the solid blue wire hooks up to both of your orange wires. So, I mean, that was the only problem I ever ran into is I cut the wrong wire. And when I cut the wrong wire, 
it shorted out my battery and I had to charge my battery to turn my truck back on but I haven't had any problems since I did this and uh the credit goes to somebody else's video I do not know his name I watched it he did it a little dark and you really can't see what colors he's cutting but uh, I try to get in the light as much as possible so this is what I said watch this video many times you need to uh, you don't want to mess up it works and if if one of yours unlocks and the other one doesn't try taking that build off and just Pulling it up, down, left, right. Twist it if you need to. Just figure out a way to fix it. Because nobody wants to pull all this stuff off and do all that. I mean, it looks irritating. I was going to do it, but part of me said, hey, try yanking the hell out of it first. And it worked. It unlocked. And it works fine now. I mean, even if I mean, you hit the brakes real hard, it still locks up. You get jerked real quick, it still locks up. You're all good. I mean, it works. And uh, I hope it works for y'all. Let me know. Uh, I'm sorry that this video is actually being very long. But just disconnect your battery before you start cutting wires. Alright, have a good day, guys.